again for that favorite of running late segments in which I interview someone who I've been stalking on Facebook. <laughs> it's called I've Been Stalking You on Facebook. <laughs> We've got a graphic for it. It also has its own theme song. Publisher, and the very first chapter was chapter one, penis. <laughs> chapter two, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. You want to move on, I take it, but uh, absolutely. I kind of want to take a step back. <laughs> move on. What is it with dudes and other Ooh. dudes' junk? Can we talk about this as honestly? Yeah, let's dudes? talk about it. Like, well, so you know, have from, you from, been with therapists about this? <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, we can you, you've been some therapy. You've had some therapy. Oh but my god, think, you have no idea. I think we have It's to. getting expensive, to be honest. I think we just have to give a little look. Not everyone here has memorized Wikipedia page the way I have. <laughs> so you're the one that's been sabotaging that shit. I didn't say that. But let's get a little primer for these people. You know, exactly, can we start at the beginning, the real beginning, the FSU, if we can go back there. Yeah. What started the whole thing. Let's just yeah. talk about how Jen Sturger first launched onto the scene, into all of our hearts. Can you, can you, can you, you can explain? Oh, you hear me talk. Yeah, Brent, my good buddy Brent. Um, I was just at a football game, you know, trying to... I've got some pictures going oh. back. <laughs> That's great. From your Facebook page. <laughs> I was just at a football game, and um, to be quite honest, 
trying to get revenge on an ex-boyfriend, so I was dressed really provocatively <laughs> and had front row seats. I don't know if the same thing would work for you, but you're welcome to try it. <laughs> and it kind of snowballed from there. I was interacting a lot with people on message boards because everybody thought I was a stripper and didn't actually go to school there. So I felt the need to come out and validate myself and explain myself to people. And you know, it just kind of snowballed from there. I gave it a personality, like the whole cowgirl thing. Like it's really yeah. So this was you. It, it's really a facade. I got news for you guys. Like I've been acting for the past five years. Yeah. <laughs> Um, jokes on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really not who I was. Yeah. It was like this kind of caricature I created. It was, yeah. you know, I just ran with it. I've also seen your your, your rope work, and it's it's not up to standards for cowgirl. Just, just, <laughs> Maybe other things, but not cowgirl. <laughs> well, um, so just to go, so the camera found her at a game. She's on TV, like Pamela Anderson, kind of discovered that way. No sex tape. Can no you sex tape. That's <laughs> right. No so, so then what happens? So you're kind of in the scene, you're doing some stuff for Sports Illustrated, you're doing things, and the Jets come to you and they want to hire you. The Jets come to me and they want to hire me, and, you know, it's one of those things where it seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, I was seeing a guy in New York, so it was kind of one of those last-ditch efforts to try and make this work. And that went awesome as well. So I was kind of, in 2008, not many people know, like my life seriously imploded. It really did. And, you know, it's very hard for me to still talk about it now because I dealt with it so privately. And, you know, having to relive it again in 2010 in front of everyone, it was kind of more a slap in the face. I think it hurt more in 2010 because there's all these people making judgments about you that have never met you. And quite frankly, like everything that was written about me in the news, even by people that I knew, yeah. I was just like, this is incredible. Like you guys know me, you know this is this is not anything I was involved in, and it was just a really a series of unfortunate events. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it, it really was crazy. And uh, so everyone know what happened? No, no you don't know what happened. See, you are a tourist, aren't you? This is cute. Where are you from? 